Welcome, one and all. Alright, so regarding Hawken, I've been working on improving my sharpshooter skills lately. Because I think it's probably my next viable mech, and I really want to get good at it. So, I tried to record a game of Missile Assault on Last Eco, but unfortunately, the video and audio was horribly out of sync, so I had to discard it. I mean, I didn't do terribly great that game, so... I guess it kind of worked out, but at the same time, I kind of want my uh, video recording software to work, you know what I'm saying? Strangely though, this video, which is a team deathmatch which was also on Last Eco, turned out fine. So I think Nvidia Shadowplay just derped for a second there. In any case, let's just get right to the gameplay, shall we? So now, here we are in the game and I'm going to spawn in my sharpshooter. Now Last Eco is a very convoluted, labyrinthine sort of map. Large sprawling areas give way into smaller corridors, and so I feel that the sharpshooter will do extremely well in the larger areas. My sharpshooter build is rather unconventional. It has the Hologram Mark II and the Blockade Mark II as items, the SA Hawkins as its primary weapon, and the Deflectors, Basic Extractor, and Advanced Armor Fuser as internals. Now some of you might be wondering, why aren't you using Slug Rifle? Well, the simple reason is because I like to have something to DPS with in between Sabo shots. And trust me, the Sabo has a very, very long cooldown, so I like having something that can deal continuous damage while the Sabo cools down. Anyways, the game has started, and I'm making my way towards the center of the map. Sometimes on Last Eco, it can take a while for enemies to show up, but in this case, they show up fairly quickly. Yeah, I've had matches where um, it would take forever to find the enemy team, but here we find them rather quickly, which is good. And I'm trying to hit this guy with my S.A. Hawkins and Sabo, get him with a few shots, so I back off for a bit and lay down a hologram as I continue my barrage against the enemy team. I haven't gotten a kill yet, which is kind of lame, but I'm doing a good job supporting my team, I think, so I guess it doesn't really matter. So I'm debating whether or not to zoom closer, and I decide to um, move a little bit closer to the enemy team. I try to flank around them, not engage them directly, because sharpshooters in direct combat can be rather wonky. So I see two guys down on radar over there, and I decide to see what's up, and I get attacked the guy in front, which causes the guy behind him to attack me. And Zorin, who is actually my friend and former clan mate, decides to assist with that baddie and takes him out. Now these two guys come over here and try to flank us, so I just decide to um, take cover in this ditch and start healing. Now I'm kind of worried about an attack from the back, so I look back over there, but no one really comes, so that's good. Now I'm seeking out some enemies, and I find and I find one enemy besieging a teammate, so I go into assist, and I don't get the kill on him. I was so close to getting that kill. It's like WTF, man. And now this bruiser comes and starts attacking me, and it whittles me down to barely an inch of my life. So I have to go back, hide somewhere, and heal. But I I see enemies on the radar, and I'm not sure where they are, so I have to stop healing for a bit and deal with them. But they back off. So I take cover behind this rock and heal myself back up to full, and now I am ready to join back in the fight. So I see a guy on radar back there, and he's nearly dead, so I try and get him, but not quite good enough, and then this guy comes up, and he starts attacking me, and I'm thinking, alright, I'm probably going to need to flank this guy. So I back off, trying to give myself some distance, but it's clear he doesn't want to come out, so I'm going to approach him. And there he is over there. So I hover up to get him beyond that hill, and I finish him off. So now, two and a half minutes in, I get my first kill. Yay! But it could quickly turn into my first death with this guy, like, trailing me. So I back off, trying to hit him with as many Hawking shots and Sabo rounds as I can. And I get 100% damage on that dude. So yeah, I was pretty pleased with that. I put a hologram in there to distract the enemies as I make my way back and try to heal. So that was good. My armor fuser is helping speed along the repair process. And I see an enemy over there. I, I try to shoot at him, but it seems like he's way too far away for me to hit him. So now I rejoin my teammates as we encounter enemies on the far side of that nook over there. There's a predator over there that's trying to get away. I get a few rounds into him, but it's not enough to kill him. 
So I give chase just a little bit and scan the area for enemies. Yeah, when you're playing sharpshooter, you have to play somewhat defensively because you never know what might ambush you. So yeah, gotta be careful. I get that guy, Fearless Burrito, which I, is a pretty funny name. I like it. And there's a predator running away in the distance. So I'm following this guy, trying to get, catch up to that predator. And I'm coming around this corner. I don't see anybody. So I boost a little ahead just, just to see what's going on. I catch a few guys on radar, and there's some enemies in the distance. There's that predator that was trying to get away. There's some mines over there, and I can't approach him directly. So with, with his health near gone, he runs away, and I'm trying to catch up to him. I tried again with a sable shot, miss epically. And that was like, that was a really bad shot. I have no idea how I screwed the pooch that badly. So yeah, he lives to see another day, and then this Reaper comes up, and I'm like, okay, let's get this guy instead. So he's attacking my teammate, I'm just hammering away at him, and I get him with the S.A. Hawkins. Yeah. So I go up on top of this rock to see what's going on, and there's a battle over there. I wanted to get, I was gonna go get the guy in front, but I decided to attack the guy in back and let my teammates kill him. Aren't I nice? So now I'm looking for some more enemies, trying to figure out what's going on, and um, I see some fire over that hill. And it turns out to be a recruit assault. I start to get him, but then he backs off. The wuss. I try to get that predator, but he hammers me with some EOC repeater rounds, and I am nearly dead, so I must retreat and heal. I want to keep that kill streak too. Four kill streak is pretty nice in Hogan. I see an enemy over there, so I stop healing and go deal with him, but my teammates swiftly dispatch of him, so I am safe for now. There's that recruit assault again. I decide to attack him. And I get him with a um, repeated S.A. Hawken barrage. There's that predator over there that was assaulting me earlier. But then he goes away, and this assault comes wandering up into my scope like a fly in a pitcher plant. But normally flies don't escape from pitcher plants as this assault did, so yeah, that stunk. I go grab this repair charge just to get a little pick-me-up, because I'm slightly damaged. And I try to chase an enemy that's hiding behind that crevice. There's a Reaper over there that I decide to assault. Spoiler warning, he dies. See what I tell you. Now there's an enemy over there that's really weak, and I try to get him, but I don't. And I see another enemy over there that my teammates are utterly destroying, and then this recruit assault comes up and tries to attack me, but he gets a mighty dose of Hawken rounds and Sabo shots. And I get him with 98% damage, which is always cool. I'm getting a lot of high damage um, kills this game. That's really nice. And I have a 7 kill streak. So, yeah. Here comes a Reaper. I decide to do some fancy footwork and some fancy shooting on him. And I get him eventually, but I miss that Sabo shot right there. I tend to miss those quite a bit. It's kind of bad when you're a sharpshooter because... You know, your Sabo is probably your best bet against en against tougher enemies. So I get a nice kill steal over there. I'm such a bad boy. And I bump my kill streak up to nine. So me and the other sharpshooter are trying to get that infiltrator over there. I try to chase him as he flees, but apparently he decides to go, go on the offensive and start attacking me. With a and the entire enemy team decides to come up over that hill. Holy crap, that was crazy. So I'm forced to flee, and I'm going to need to um, back off and heal. But this recruit assault is spoiling my plans, and I get my first death. Hey, only two and a half minutes left, and I get my first death? That's not bad. And he dies, so I'm happy with that. So I spawn back in, and... This guy appears right in front of me, and I get 54% damage on him. That must have been the guy that killed me earlier. So now I'm looking around scanning for enemies. Can't really seem to find anybody at the moment, but I see some radar signals, so I go check it out. There's a guy that's half dead, and then there's another guy in that ditch. So I decide to um, try and get as much range between myself and the enemy as possible, and I get another kill steal. Jeez, I'm so terrible about the kill steals this game. Oh my goodness. So now I'm going after this guy, and he's really wailing on me. I mean, I'm surprised that I was able to survive that fight. 
Well, my teammates helped because they were the ones that killed him. So, yeah. Thanks, teammates. Teamwork is OP. So now we only have four more kills left to win the game, and um, these two are trying to attack me. Or is there three? I think there are three back there. Yeah. So I go after this recruit assault, and I have my scope on him. Just keep on hammering away at him, and so the teammate steals my kill. Oh well, that's karma, I guess. <laughs> I'm really not that upset about it. So I try to go help my teammates over there. We need one more kill to win. So I try to get this guy and end the game, but someone else gets the kill, and that is my boy Zorin right there. Woo! Go Zorin! So yes, that is the end of the match, so yeah. Rate, comment, subscribe, do whatever you guys do. I will see you on the next video, and I will promise to make it as good as holy crap. Look at how long the Sabo Cannon is on the Sharpshooter. Seriously, it is almost as long as it is tall. What more can you expect from the mighty phallic symbol of justice? Alright, see you all next time.